A new baby in a famous family and important because it's so small, the British Motor Corporation's Mini Minor. The 850cc engine is mounted across the car in both versions of this newcomer. In fact, there's hardly any difference between Morris and Austin Minis. In 1959, Sir Alexander Isagoyes designed one of the 20th century's icons, the legendary Mini. The design of it was absolutely so smart because it was so simple, so elegant, and, and, and so agile, so affordable, so efficient. It was really a work of art, a thing that you want to own, a thing that you want to drive and to enjoy for the rest of your life because it's an absolute work of art indeed. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a modernized version as a tribute to the, to the awesome original one because uh, I genuinely love that car. It's an absolute legend. So let's talk about it and then let's drive it and see what's what. And of course, let's enjoy the video. So this is the 2020 Mini 100 Turbo, which is the modernized version of the 1959 one. Now, as you can see, it looks modern and stylish in every single way with very, very modern fixtures, very, very modern engine, tire, suspension, brakes, everything is very, very modern. And of course, the surgery goes beyond that. It's not just cosmetic because underneath this beautiful body, we have a semi space frame chassis, a modern chassis made entirely from aluminum or aluminum. Well, basically everything in this car is made from the same material the chassis, the body, the engine block, the engine cylinder head, the, the, the gearbox casing, everything is made from aluminium or aluminium, whatever you want to call it, because it's a very, very modern and safe and, and very, very modern material, and it resists rust very, very nicely, and that's why I've chosen this material to rework the chassis and the body. Now, as you can see, also we have modern suspension underneath, which is very, very important. We have McPherson struts up front, we have semi-trailing arms in the back uh, with modern springs, dampers, shocks, sway bars, everything. We have a very, very modern suspension. Also, we have very, very modern brakes. We have ABS, we have traction control, stability control, and we have functional working brakes. We have a very, very modern engine up front, which is an inline four turbo, four cylinder turbo made entirely from aluminum or aluminum with of course double overhead camshaft, four valves per cylinder, we have variable valve lift and of course variable valve timing technology, plus the engine is running with direct fuel injection and a single turbocharger to push this engine up to 103 horsepower and 103 pound-feet of torque with a great fuel efficiency and great noise and great sporty feeling of course. The engine is so efficient and so earth-friendly thanks to a very, very modern exhaust system running with a high-flow three-way catalytic converters and very, very quiet muffler system plus butterfly valves which will operate when you drive the car in a sporty manner. They will open to, to give you a free-flowing exhaust system with a great sporty feeling and when you drive the car in, a, in an efficient man manner, the, the valves will close to give you a quite a quiet down efficient driving experience from outside as you can see the body was reworked with modern fixtures everywhere so we have uh, we have new headlights with led technology we have fog lights we have working cooling up front so the car will never overheat even when you, when you drive it in hot climates we have modern LED tail lights. We have carbon fiber rear diffuser to give the car more stability. And of course, the most important thing to do, which is gives the car a modern interior. So inside we have sporty interior with Alcantara steering wheel, four bucket seats were made from leather and aluminum to give the car more sporty feelings and keep it lightweight as well. Also, you will get modern dashboard with modern dials and gadgets. You will get modern infotainment system with navigation system. You will get functional climate control. Also, you will get a panoramic sunroof, which gives the car a more modern and more classy looks, which looks absolutely amazing. Also, you have modern safety equipments in case of an accident, you know, God forbids. So we have functional airbags. We have, we have a, a very, very strong shell of the car. The car body is now stronger 
it's modern, the chassis is stronger, it's stiffer than before. So in a case of an accident, you know, God forbids, the car will protect you and it will not try to kill you, of course. And that is what we have here. And now, of course, let's go and drive both cars, starting with the, or with the original one to see what kind of differences we got from old to modern technology when it comes to the handling, acceleration, braking, and well, absolutely everything. So let's move on and see what's what. And we are off. We have 850cc engine, four cylinder, eco, single carburetor, four speed manual, 37 horsepower, 45 pound feet of torque, 600 kilos. All right, let's see. Looks very, very heroic and very, very tiny, very nice. Approaching the first corner, of course, we have drum brakes. Very nice. Open differential action. Here we go. Approaching Chicago. Braking, turning in. That looks very, very neat. This thing actually drives very, very nicely. Not bad at all. Yeah, it takes a while, actually. It's not that fast, but it's really good. Here we go, approaching a hammerhead. Braking, turning in. Very, very neat. No, much, not much drama. And back on the power, here we go. 37 horsepower, come on. Here we go, approaching the, the follow through. Very nice, now. Approaching the tire wall. All right, 1959 speed. That's very good. Here we go, two corners left. Hard on the brake, turning in. Or oh, actually, I, I didn't use any brakes here. Here we go, Michael Gambon corner and turning in, no drama whatsoever and across the line, doing 1 minute 57.531. Alright, now the modern version and off we go. As you can see, much, much aggressive start. Of course, we have uh, more than double the horsepower, more than double the torque. What a great little car. It's uh, obviously, it's slower. It's much more grippier, grippier tires. Here we go, first corner, look at that. Wow. What a great little car. Here we go, approaching Chicago first, turning in. What a grip. I really, really wish if, if there's like a company in real life, if they can actually recreate like a modern version same as the 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 story with the Porsche 911 you know stinger company here we go approaching hammerhead we hard on the brakes turning in check it out no drama whatsoever very very grippy very neat and back on the power very very nice so i again i really wish if there's like a company same as like the singer the singer company which they actually tune 911 Porsches, modernizing them to to 21st century i really wish they, there is something similar to the original minis here we go oh ho, much 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 speed amazing here we go a couple of corners using the brakes this time because we have some power opposite lock action and approaching michael gambone turning in and across the line doing one minute 42.2 oh my goodness 15 seconds difference what a great time indeed all right now the last part of the video let's see how this thing will perform on the handling circuit in automation track because i really really had so much fun with this car check it out this thing is so nimble so grippy so awesome this thing grips handles like like a like a little snake i mean do you remember when when we, when you were growing up there was like an advert for a car going around the corner like like lightning or like a snake this thing feels absolutely the same thing on this track look at that 
what a car, what a creation. Modernizing this thing is just the best thing you can ever get. So that's pretty much it my friends. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this awesome little beast here driving really hard. And uh, what do you think about it? I would love to know what do you think about it in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you love the video. And of course, to hit that subscribe if you are new. And if you want to download it, it's available right now on my Patreon page. The link in the description below. Just sign up, download it, plus all of my other special creations. And by doing that, you'll be, of course, supporting this channel. And I will be more than thankful for that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Big thanks to my current Patreon subscribers. And of course, I'll be seeing you very, very soon. And goodbye for now, my friends.